This right here is a 2023 Skidoo Freeride 850 Turbo R. This snowmobile is completely different. It's a G5, but it's so much more than bodywork. So don't think that it's just that because it is way more. The 850 Turbo R is now up to 180 horsepower. This thing slaps you in the face like a half-baked salmon and just makes you go, oh my goodness, where did that power come from? This thing is intense under the hood. It is amazing on the hill and it makes that power all the way up and past 7,000 feet and it feels flipping strong. Cool things about the bodywork that wrap around this turbo motor. The most cool and the most unique and the most interesting is this side panel right here over the clutch. The side panel is not only a side panel, it is the entire clutch cover as well as clutch guard. And it also works kind of like a CVT on a side-by-side -side, where you have a backer plate and you have a fully enclosed system, allowing the secondary fins to actually pump air in and out of dedicated intakes and exhausts which means your belt is going to be super cool, which means that you're not going to blow it as often. So squeeze that turbo wide open all you want and your belt's gonna have a lot happier life. Moving down to the front end of this sled, this is the 36 inch ski stance on the free ride. And it's really, really functional when you're out in the mountains. I mean, in my opinion, this is coming from me who I've really liked some Polaris handling in the mountains. I think this is the best handling snowmobile in the mountains I have ever ridden. Spending a day on it today, I found the front end to be absolutely flawless. When I get this thing on its side and I turn the handlebars and I get those, those ski tips pointed you know, up into the air and I'm side hilling, this thing tracks, does not panel out and doesn't do the thing where the rear end goes down, the front end goes up and all of a sudden you're stuck. I am really impressed with how this G5 chassis and all the changes that Skidoo's made to it handles. The shocks on this are the new KYBs that have a three position clicker. Now you're gonna say, okay, I've heard about this stuff from other manufacturers, but no, you haven't because these ones are better. The typical three position clicker systems in shocks do only one of your compression settings. They don't do high and low speed. Typically it's just low speed. These ones do high and low speed at the same time. So your wide range of say zero to 22 clicks of compression, both high and low speed, you've got your first setting, which is gonna be down on the bottom end. You've got your middle setting, which is gonna be in the middle. And then you've got your high setting, which is gonna be way over on the full compression side for those big drops and big hits that you wanna do. So that's pretty cool. Those shocks are also carried out into the rear skid and they work really well, but it's just the next level of technology that Skidoo is bringing to the sled. The Trail G5s are very similar. The Mountain G5s are very different. It comes down to all kinds of cool things. Number one, let's start from the front. The new drive shaft for this snowmobile comes out of the lower chain case without having to drop the, the lower gear on the chain case, split the chain case, deal with all that oil or do any of those things. So if you wanna make a track change on your new G5, it's super easy. Let's move back. The front torque arm, it's longer on this snowmobile. The geometry has changed. There's all kinds of things in here that I can tell you about with millimeters and inches and where they put it. At the end of the day, what does it do? It makes this thing ride way better. It's got the shorty tunnel on it because it's a free ride and the little snow flat back here. But when it comes to the track, Skidoo was able to drop three pounds of weight out of the rear suspension. And you're gonna say, oh, three pounds, that's not that much. Consider this, the track on this, which is 16 inches wide, is also full width lugs. The previous version of these tracks didn't have full width lugs. The lugs kind of were a little bit shorter on the edge of the track, so you didn't get as much grip as you would have with a full width lug. So they added more rubber, and yet they were still able to drop that three pounds. I am blown away the way that it works. It is impressive. Now on top of that, you got things like the new running boards, which I guess you call them running boards. There's almost nothing there, but they're strong. They clear out snow. They give you lots of room. Your feet can move around, but they grip like crazy because they got all kinds of sharp edges on them. One of the other obvious changes to this Skidoo snowmobile is the new screen built into the dash. Now, you may say, I don't want technology on my snowmobile. Skidoo gives you that option. You don't have to have it. It comes with a basic gauge package unless you want to spec the 10 and a quarter inch screen out. 10 and a quarter inch screen works so much better than the previous one. It doesn't have any controls down on your knees or anything like that. It's touchscreen, it's waterproof, it connects to your cell phone super fast. It will Wi-Fi update in your garage when you bring it back home. It does all kinds of wonderful and fun things. There's lots to love about that. Skidoo has always been innovators. They have cool features on their snowmobiles that nobody else does. Things like shock, where you don't need a battery, but you get electric start. What I'm experiencing from the new G5 snowmobiles from Skidoo is that 
they are taking their product that's already really good and they're refining things, but they're refining small things that other people sometimes overlook. So now they're able to really target in on those small pieces, those small technologies, little things, but they're little things that truly elevate the ride.